these stories don't just happen. Our staff works literally around the clock. And today's show, for example, was produced by Julie Ross and her team. Now, she is a senior producer. She has been with the show since day one, 10 years since we started. She was here. And she's produced many of our behind the headline shows. And probably one of her toughest shows ever was teaching me to dance, if you can imagine. <laughs> Uh, I want to introduce you to Julie, but before you meet her in person, take a look at this. The minute I saw him on Oprah, I knew I wanted to work for Dr. Phil. I've been here for 10 years. I'm particularly driven by the headline stories. This year alone, um, my team has done things from the uh, suicide of Rebecca Zahau, the cruise ship disaster in Italy, to the double murder suicide with Josh Powell. One of my most favorite shows so far is when we did a show with Dancing with the Stars. My favorite moment of that show was when Dr. Phil and Robin did this dance. They had one of the pro dancers teach them a dance. And it's really cool to see how much they love each other. And the fact that he was willing to go outside of his comfort zone, it was a very precious moment to have in my show. I was a producer who got to do the first intervention with Brandon. My team's been nominated a few times for the PRISM Award. We finally won this year. Brooke, my associate producer, got to accept the award. I was really excited for her that she got to do that. I'm really proud of my team. Along with Brooke Turner, I have Michael Lutz, who's my segment director, who's amazing, and my new production assistant, Courtney Holloway. And I absolutely love my supervising producer, Andy Krause. She's not only a great supervisor, but she's a really good friend. Something else I really have a passion for is horses. And right now I have one horse, her name is Malibu. She is a gorgeous Palomino quarter horse. And you can often find this on any given day riding through Griffith Park. I had my own Dr. Phil sort of crisis. My sister passed away and then my parents both died shortly after that. Dr. Phil and Robin and my executive producer, Carla, really stepped up to the plate for me and gave me time off and you know to let me know that take to take as much time as I needed while I feel like I lost my family on one hand as cliche as it sounds I really feel like I have gained another one here when I came back I brought a little sidekick with me his name is Reno and he now clearly runs the office he's got a girlfriend in every cubicle I really love my job, the stories that I get to be a part of, these people that we get to meet every day, and the fact that we don't just tell their story, but we actually get to help them through their crisis with Dr. Phil. It's incredibly rewarding, and I can't think of another place I'd rather be. Well, Julie, come on out. Well, this is Ju this is Julie Ross, and this is um, this is the killer dog Reno, uh, right here. Hey, pup. So, what's the most rewarding thing uh, about being here and working with the stories that you do? You know, today reminded me of just you know why I feel like I'm meant to be here and love to be here. What you ended up doing for Thomas. Um, I mean, I knew that he needed to see you. I knew he needed to be here and tell his story. And, I knew it, and, um, and then when you came through at the end of the show, that is why I'm here. Thank you.